everybody, this is great. This is great math number 36 with me, JP. And today, to finally announce that this will be our last area and perimeter video. Yay! Finally, yes. And remember, there will be no. Yeah, no. Oh, oh, let's do one more. No, this is for real. Our last one. And for our last one, I decided let's not do circles. Let's not do circles this time. Let's do something maybe a little basic, but also can be hard. If you don't think about it. Let's try that. Okay. It, let me first draw this diagram thingy. That we must draw. Okay, there we have it. Um, so it says, find the length of altitude from B to AC in triangle ABC right here. So let me draw that right now. Basically, only when it goes like that, when it goes into a right angle. What do you call that? When it is the length of Length of the altitude. Okay. There we go. Might be a little bit better, not really. But okay, good enough. Okay, now you're trying to find. So let's name it X. Number five is for this guy. Let's actually let's move X up right here so we know. That's for five and that's for X. X is for this line. Okay? So now we're like. So now we're like. How can we find X? Oh, I'm stressed. What can we do? Oh, no. Well, let me help you. The way to find it is trying to find, well, it's good to find the area first. Let's see, we do know this is 5, not 6. 6 is here. So 8 times 5 is 40. 40 divided by 2 is 20. So now the entire thing is 20. The okay. area of what is 20? Show me. The area of the entire triangle. Which Tri triangle? Triangle here. Okay, A, B, C? A, B, C, yeah. Okay. What is the formula for an area for a triangle? Oh, uh, yeah, so let's do that. Um, area is length times height divided by 2 is equal mm. to the area. Uh, show me where is length and height there. Show me on the graph. Length. Okay, the base, the base, the base, is, the base, base times height. Okay. No, all know what height is. Length is basically the base. Okay. Okay. So we could do eight times five. It's forty divided by two is twenty. That's the area. Okay. So now, how does that help us for this? We we'll keep wondering. Hmm. How does that help us? How? Well, hmm, let's see. What if we just turn it to the sideways? Oh, when we do that, we get something like this. Where 6 is that. The height is x. This is 8. Yeah. So we get something like this. What is the base? The base is 6, the height is 8. And here is going to be 5, but we don't need that. Put okay. the letter, put the letter. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see, that's B. No, wait, that's not B. B's up here. And if we turn that, that would be A, and that would be C. Okay. Hmm. How does that so help us? You wonder. You keep wondering. Hmm. Hmm. Then you get an idea. Hey. Since we already know the area is 20, we don't know the height, but we know the length. I mean, or we know the base. So basically, x 
times 6 divided by 2 is equal to 20. Hey, let's do that actually. x times 6 over 2 is equal to 20. Oh, there we go. We have our we have our equation right here done. Finish. Okay. Now let's do that. That's going to be 6x over 2 is equal to 20. And then we can reduce that to 3x is equal to 20. Then we use the reciprocal to get off the 3. x is still here. And it's x is equal to 20 over 3. And since you can't reduce that anymore, and we don't really like using mixed numbers, 20 over 3 is our answer right here. That is the end of our very last area and perimeter video. Yes. And if you did like this video, please do subscribe to Great Math and also big, give a big thumbs up to Great Math. And this is Great Math number 36 with me, JP, and I'll see you next time at number 37. Goodbye.